This is Mark Cipollone. I'm here with Esteban Gutierrez. Um, we're here in Toronto before qualifying. And um, I guess my first question is, has IndyCars been harder than you expected or easier than you expected? No, it's quite competitive. I always thought IndyCar as a very competitive series. Um, and it's not easy, you know, when you arrive in the middle of the season where there is a lot of experienced drivers racing here for many, many years. Uh, obviously, to get up to speed takes a bit of time. And it's a series that requires a lot of experience and knowledge of the car in order to adapt to, to every circuit which is changing quite a lot between the ovals, the road courses, the street courses. Right. Um, these cars don't have power steering or power brakes. Was that a big learning learning for you? Is it makes it make it hard on some tracks where the downforce is high and does the steering get really heavy? Yes, it gets really heavy. Um, I the worst was Detroit because Detroit, I everything was new to me. I didn't know what to expect, so I arrived there and I really you know struggled. But I managed to finish the two races. It was pretty positive. Um, now it's getting a bit easier, but obviously. You know, it's a very different approach to what we have in, in uh, what I had before in Formula One. In, in, what, in what way? Uh, well, you, in Formula One, the car is quicker in the corners, but it has the power steering. So the steering wheel is not that heavy. Um, it's more demanding for the mind. Here it's a bit more physical. Um, obviously, the ovals is a complete different story, but uh, to compare it with the Formula One is is a, is a heavier car, more physical, uh, more mechanical grip from the tires. Uh, so that's good. I, I'm finding it very uh, enjoyable to drive. As far as, I guess you still, le you left foot brake? Are you left foot breaker or right foot breaker? No, left foot. Yeah. yeah. So that, was there a problem? Um, the shifting is similar? Is there a big difference yeah. in the paddle shifting? The, the Formula One is a bit quicker. Um, here it's, uh, it takes a bit more time, it's a little bit more of a struggle when you exit the slow speed corners, but yeah. but it's fine, something more to cope with. You've uh, now had your first oval race, how did, how did that feel? I mean, from the start of the weekend to the end, did you find like, oh boy, oh wow, the first day and then by the end of the race you felt comfortable or how did, how did it go? Yes, at the beginning I was struggling a lot, I, I was a little bit lost, I was, obviously everything was new. Uh, I was finding the right balance in the car, the right feeling also when I was running on traffic. And step by step I got, you know, experimental a little bit, I got better and better, more confident. And I started to enjoy it and I started to move forward. Uh, um, Sebastian Bourdais is here this weekend. Has he been helping you guys uh, with setups and discussing strategy? Yes, a lot. I mean, he has uh, plenty of experience here in Toronto and uh, in the series as well. Uh, it's great to, to have him here, uh, he's a great uh, team player and uh, team members always giving his feedback. So that's obviously very positive for both of the drivers that we are here. There's been some rumors of a possible Mexico race at some point. Do you think that could happen and do you think it will be on a road course or on an oval? I'm not sure to be honest, I think it's something that uh, yeah, we have to wait a little bit. Um, let me ask you this question. Do you think they would, what track would be best in Mexico, do you think, for, for these cars? I mean, are there, are there tracks that are already built, like oval tracks, or would they have to build a track? Um, I'm not sure, but obviously, you know, it's too early to, to say. I would like more as a, of a road course uh, circuit or a street course, depending on, on what we can get. I'm sorry, but I have to leave you. I have to prepare okay. for qualifying. Okay, good luck in qualifying. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very yeah. much.